Hey there, history aficionados. Buckle up for an uproarious journey through the annals of human evolution. We are venturing into the rollicking world of Australopithecus and Amensis, those remarkable critters that once rocked the ancient landscapes of East Africa. Get ready to be thoroughly amused by the antics of our early ancestors, the original two-legged showstoppers, and the heralds of our very own genus, Homo. The dawn of Australopithecus anamensis. Hold on to your prehistoric hats because our time machine is set for an era between 4.2 and 3.9 million years ago. Picture this, East Africa, the hottest spot on the evolutionary runway. Lush woodlands, bustling plains, the party central of life itself. And right there, in the midst of this happening Eden, Australopithecus anamensis makes its grand entrance, scripting a comedic chapter in the epic tale of human evolution. Now, these primeval pranksters, Australopithecus anamensis, owe their name to the Turkana Basin in Kenya, right by Lake Turkana. Anamensis is basically a nod to this lakeside crib where they decided to drop their ancient secrets. Australopithecus anamensis was the ultimate early riser among hominins. They had a morning routine that began at the crack of dawn, probably because coffee shops hadn't opened yet. Australopithecus anamensis actually invented the first Stone Age Fashion Week. They were the trendsetters of their time, strutting their stylish fur ensembles by Lake Turkana every morning, setting the standard for prehistoric chic. Walking the Walk, Bipedal Beginnings Australopithecus anamensis dared to take a bold step in our evolutionary saga by perfecting the art of walking on two legs. They did, however, keep a smidge of tree-climbing finesse with their curved toe bones, just in case they needed a quick escape from a squirrel or something. These folks had a mad cat blend of features. Their broad, bowl-shaped hips made them look like they were ready to host a disco dance-off. Australopithecus anamensis could outdance any primate in the evolutionary shuffle. Their bipedal disco moves were legendary in prehistoric nightclubs. Their elongated leg bones turned them into ground-striding champs. And when it came to facial features and dexterous hands, they were more ape than Einstein. But hey, it worked for them. Dental Discoveries, Clues to Diet and Behavior Australopithecus anamensis had a dental setup that could rival a Swiss army knife. Their teeth was all about versatility, handling plant foods and some tougher items like seeds or tubers. It's like they were the MacGyvers of prehistory. What's really a laugh riot is the discovery of fossils with worn enamel. It seems these early hominids were the first DIY enthusiasts using their teeth as tools, possibly to open stubborn pistachios or crack coconuts. Well, this behavioral innovation deserves a gold star in the hominin yearbook, showcasing their talent for turning their environment into a DIY survival toolkit. It's like they looked at nature and said, we can work with this. Social insights, living in communities. As much as we love their physical quirks, Let's not forget their social antics. Fossil evidence suggests that they were the ultimate party animals, living in tight-knit social groups, probably hosting epic barbecues and bonfires. Their fossils have been discovered hanging out with other hominin species, like Artipithecus cadaba and Kenyanthropos platyops. It's like they were the original neighborhood watch, keeping an eye on everyone's shenanigans. Evolutionary conundrum ancestor or side branch? Now, the big question. Where does Australopithecus anamensis fit into the evolutionary family tree? Some researchers think they're the direct ancestors of later Australopithecus species, including Australopithecus afarensis. Others think they were the quirky cousins who just happened to coexist with our direct ancestors. The transit from Australopithecus anamensis to Australopithecus afarensis remains one of evolution's greatest sitcoms. Fossils from both species chilling together in the same geological strata? 
classic case of who invited you to the family reunion? The puzzling exodus, fading into the shadows. Just like a magician with a penchant for dramatic exits, Australopithecus anamensis pulled a disappearing act around 3.9 million years ago. They vanished from the fossil records, leaving behind cryptic clues and riddles. As for why they vanished, it's still up for debate. Maybe they got bored with Earth and booked a ticket to Mars, or perhaps they had a falling out with the up-and-coming Australopithecus afarensis. Environmental changes? Food fights? Who knows? The only thing certain is that they made an exit that even Houdini would envy. These hominins' exit from the fossil records remain the most entertaining mystery, keeping paleontologists on the edge of their seats in the ultimate game of hide-and-seek. <laughs>